Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this question. It is asking to find the equivalent resistance between these two terminals. Okay, it is uh, looking odd, uh, odd circuit. Uh, first, we would like to uh, redraw the circuit uh, so that uh, we can easily identify the connection between the uh, resistors. Okay, let's start it and I will give the name of these nodes so that we can easily connect them. This is A, this is B and you can give any name like this is C, this is D and this is E. If you notice there is nothing between C and E. There is nothing between C and E. It means C and E are the same point. Here C and E are the same point. Now we will uh, draw them. So first we will draw 5 ohm. Here we are starting. Five ohm, then there is a point A. Okay, and uh, I I would like to mark all the points. Here it is D. And there is a point here C and E. Since they are equal, I will put them on a single point. A and then. Uh, I will draw the bottom one. It is 15 ohm and it is at P. Okay. Now I will see A, B, C, D, E. All the points have been marked and we have to find R from here. Now connect the rest of the R registers between A and D. Between A and D, there is a a register of 20 ohm between a and d there is a register of 20 ohm okay between a and c there is a register of 30 ohm a and c a is here c is here so it is like this between a and c it is 30 ohm Next, between A and B, it is 25 ohm, A and B, it is 25 ohm. Next, between B and E, between B and E, it is 10 ohm, B and E, B is here, E is here. It is 10 ohm. Next, between C and D, between C and D, it is 12 ohm. So, uh, D and C, or we say C and D, it is the same thing. So, it is a between D and C, it is 12 ohm. Between D and Okay, and between D and E, it is 60. Between D and E, D is here, E is here, it is 60. Now, circuit is looking more simple as compared to the given. Okay, identify the connections. First one, I will show you. Look here, between D and C, 12 and 60 are in parallel, right? These are two in parallel. If two registers are in parallel, uh, there is a formula. I would like to tell you directly. If two res uh, registers are in parallel, then their equivalent resistance is can be calculated by the product of those two divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. R1 is 12, R2 is 60. We will calculate the equivalent resistance of these two and then we will replace these two by the equivalent resistance of both of them. 
so 12 into 60 over 12 plus 60 it becomes 12 into 60 over 12 plus 60 is 72 12 will cancel 72 6 times and 6 3 divided by 6 is 10 it means this uh, combination can be replaced by 10 ohm i will replace this by 10 ohm okay so i am going to erase this one and i will put a 10 ohm register there okay now i can put a 10 ohm register okay next okay next you can see i i will remove this one okay no use of now next okay focus here 20 and 10 20 and 10 these two are in series right if two registers are in series then their equivalent resistance is R1 plus I2. So 20 plus 10 will be 30 ohm. So I can replace both of them by 30 ohm. Now I can replace them by 30. So it is 30. Next. Now you can find the next uh, next uh, similarity. Okay. So what uh, what do you see next? Here between A and C. See uh, this 30 and this 30 are connected to A and C. It means these two are in parallel. Okay. B is not parallel because 25 is coming here. Okay, 25 is coming between them. So, uh, 25 is not in a uh, parallel. 25 is not allowing to uh, become parallel of 10. So, but these two are this parallel and we can find the, their equivalent resistance. Okay, I tell uh, to formula again. When two resistors are in parallel, then uh, multiply them and add them. So, 30 into 30 over 30 plus 30. It is 30 into 30 over 60. 30 will cancel 62 times and 30 divided by 2 is 15 ohm. I will replace entire connection above by 15 ohm. See how easy is this question? It is 15. Now, now you can see uh, it is more simpler and I can remove, I can remove uh, this point because uh, it has no use now. Even this point has no use. Now you can see. Uh, the, uh, you can check the connection of 15 and 10. Uh, first, it is looking very odd, but I would like to make you it is simple. I, I am connecting again. See, here. This is 5 ohm. This is 25 ohm. Whenever you find any circuit difficult, try to redraw it. Okay, see, between these two, here, these two, there is a resistance, it is 15 ohm, then 10 ohm, 15 ohm, 10 ohm. Now check their connection, now check their connection, they are in series. So whenever two resistors are in series, their resistance is R1 plus I2. So 15 plus 10 it is 25. Now I can replace this by 25.
I will replace the entire connection by 45. Okay. So now it is very simple, very simple I think. I will replace with the, uh, I will erase the, this one also because it has no use now. Okay. Now check this out. 25 and 25 are in parallel. So find their parallel resistance. If two resistance are in parallel, then their formula is R1 into I2, R1 plus I2. So it becomes 25 into 25 because R1 is 25, R2 also 25. 25 plus 25. It becomes 25 into 25 over 50. And 25 will divide it is 2 times. And 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. Okay. I will replace this by a single register. Connect a register of 12.5. Okay, R is being asked. I will erase this one also. It has no use. Now, R is very simple. R is very simple. Since all of 3 are in series. So, 5 plus 25 plus 15. Now, add them. It is 15 plus 5, 20. 20 plus 12.5 is 32.5. That's the correct answer. Okay. I hope you got it. It was very simple. You just have to uh, redraw the circuit and uh, then try to uh, solve it. Uh, if you like, uh, uh, if you like uh, the, uh, this question, uh, please uh, uh, subscribe our channel. Uh, for more videos, uh, uh, we will meet again uh, with the new question and uh, this is all for this question. Thank you.